started okay good afternoon yeah i started recording okay. so how is it going uh, good good yes uh, so how are you yeah i'm also good thank you for asking yes so second time meeting so how is feeling today yeah actually in first time we we like that we have to know each other but i already know about you what do you do and what's your name so i'm yes. little bit comfortable from before yeah Discuss so how was your day so far uh, it was a good yeah as usual actually yes okay. you tell me how was your day far there i'm confused yeah. asking question <laughs> <laughs> i team actually i was working and uh, yeah it's my working time now so i got oh. some time yeah so you are working time so where are you now means in office or at home i am working from home actually okay okay means uh, you working uh, on online at home yes 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 mm -hmm. working from home okay okay yes sir yes. mm -hmm. Yes, okay so as we already discussed about the topic that is uh, women empowerment so are you comfortable with this topic yes yes i am comfortable uh, wait one second i am comfortable very hot here little bit yeah uh, comfortable actually but uh, mm -hmm. yeah yes uh, but i i am unable to explain but i will try but first to your turn yeah no problem okay so i am asking you first that uh, what is your thought about the women empowerment the real uh, means of women empowerment yes you know actually i know very well this uh, women what in for i forgot what is the word empowerment empowerment yes i know very well because i also faced this situation i fight that situation so i would like to tell every woman that the, that have any bad situation they go to they going on that uh, they going on that situation so that time they 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 or think they thinking only they will be thinking only positive and they uh, they uh, uh, decided ourselves any bad situation so that time they will uh, fight that situation and uh, they good go uh, good way yes so don't uh, think negative then will be everything better yes but every woman that situation uh, they have that situation bad situation so they fight uh, they uh, should try fight that situation yes. yeah right So actually, the real meaning is to empowering the women is to provide the equal rights, uh, not in terms of physical strength of men, but uh, mm -hmm. I'm talking about the education or professional part. Like we have to give, uh, give her right to so that they can be educated or they can be do the work in professional life. If you are mm -hmm. empowering the women to be independent, like uh, they should have the right so that. so they they can take their own decision in uh, in many rural areas what happens uh, men didn't give too much power to women that they can take their own decision they cannot give the advice or they cannot give their suggestion so we should empower women so that they can be independent they can give their own advices they whatever they want to do in their life so they can do easily definitely definitely because nowadays so many uh, so many um, uh, activities are available also means nowadays mobile also so mm -hmm. any kind of you have a situation so you used to you used to mobile and there is uh, find out uh, you are uh, goal you are uh, what can a good way you find out so yes yeah yeah right so actually we need women empowerment in in many areas you must have heard about this uh, line that uh, if you if you educate a man then you are educating a one man but if you are educating a women then you are educating a whole nation so uh, what can i say what both have their equal contribution in the 
developing of the uh, nation. So we should we should educate a women and same as men, and we should give priority to women in every sector or, or uh, that uh, it can be any any places like uh, in professional areas in education. If if she want to learn, if she want to be uh, educated, then we should give give the place so that they can be educated. Yes, 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 yes. Actually, you know this topic is very nice topic, but I'm yeah. unable to speak English, unable to uh, explain English. Yes, actually, hmm. you you tell me then after that again I will try. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually, I am all. I am also expressing it first time because I haven't done it before. But yeah, it's really a good topic, and also we should we should talk on this topic. because it's a uh, nowadays it's a burning topic and, and uh, you if you will speak and empowering the women then then you are developing the country itself developing the nation so what do you think uh, like uh, why we are not able to achieve this women empowerment what are the things that rest, restricted this uh, women empowerment I can't understand actually. What did you say? <laughs> Please. Okay. Uh, no, actually, we want to achieve. Uh, yeah. Um. Let me explain. Uh. Actually, we are empowering the women so, so that they can be the equal right. Uh. With the men, that they can do the work. They can give their own suggestions. They can take their own action on the particular thing. So what happens in some of the cases? We are not achieving this women empowerment. So. what do you think what can be the causes uh, what can be the areas we are not uh, able to achieve this women empowerment do you can you th think about this uh, actually i can't understand your uh, question but uh, you know i i explain you little bit uh, mm -hmm. every girl every woman they has uh, uh, give god gave gift is mm -hmm. power you know power so whenever any situation so then they uh, used to this power means memory ideas so many god gift uh, gave gift uh, own lady so she uh, she knows very well how to handle that situation any situation you are study purpose any situation you know very well but uh, that time your mind only think good and uh, yeah so then automatically you have a, a game idea in your mind so yes it will be better yes. yeah yeah right yes. yes. okay so, because so, i am mm -hmm. married person so i know till the how to do, uh, how to improve in what i forgot uh, informant so i know mm -hmm. but uh, this is english language so that's why But I I will uh, explain a very well Hindi and Marathi, but it's okay. Uh, uh, I will try. But you know, uh, uh, and every uh, lady, every girl nowadays, uh, uh, they have a uh, they have a means uh, permission uh, in house also. You want to you do it, th you do thing, new thing, anything. Some girls uh, they have a no, but uh, they uh, girls know very well what I uh, what. So I do, and then what is my future? They know very well. So you girls like uh, good, me uh, girl like uh, what I do? Uh, what should I do? So you do it. Don't uh, listen. Uh, your parents they uh, told you, uh, mm -hmm. this is not good. This is uh, the good. But you like uh, any uh, uh, any means you like uh, college or uh, anything you like, and you comfortable there. so you explain your father your mother your parents everyone explain and then mm -hmm. you will start uh, you, yeah yes but in marriage for uh, ladies there also uh, there also uh, any situation so the ladies very know very well how to manage because girls ladies their part three parts means well, first of all she is girl then she is married and then she is uh, Then, then she married. Then uh, first girl. Then she is housewife, and then she is her mother also. So mm -hmm. three, three parts 
she's uh, handled okay so she is know very well and uh, uh, actually uh, some people uh, think negative then think means uh, they they go to bad way but do not that thing because uh, i also going i was going to bad uh, way bad yes but uh, now that is uh, everything is uh, okay because i like go ahead mm-hmm. i don't like that and i like thinking positive because yes uh, i think every woman knows very well how to manage um, everything mm-hmm. how to manage your responsibility how to manage and take care of child how to manage and girls so she is know how to uh, how to manage the parents and how to explain uh, explain anything parents every so girl is a very uh, intelligent girl and very she has a very most power she has already so yes Uh, yeah actually yeah. you can uh, you can understand the situation very well and yeah as uh, already you told about that uh, women should have the right so uh, that she can do everything and we should be always positive that we can do anything in our life but what happens is that in still in some of the rural areas uh, uh, parents mm-hmm. don't allow their uh, girl to be educated or, and they don't want to uh, they they don't want to send them in school or college so they have this mindset that girl can't do this thing girl cannot cannot do this thing but we should be we should give their awareness we should give them awareness that the girl girl should be the equal rights uh, as according to the according to the men and girls mm-hmm. can also do everything in in many areas like it can be education it can be their professional life if you want to work then definitely you can do it but still some of the parents don't allow the girl to to go, to send them in different cities or different uh, in the school or colleges because they don't want that girl they some men also they don't want girls should be up uh, girls should be in the up position higher position than the men still some uh, men don't want this yes sir. actually nowadays internet area so parents know very well now nowadays everyone has a phone everywhere mm-hmm. everywhere is the tv so there is every knows very well every parents knows very well nowadays uh, what is wrong and what is good nowadays uh, so many ladies so many girls uh, good uh, things been doing uh, good things so um, so uh, don't uh, means uh, so i think my opinion parents uh, only uh, oh, they have a child so they consider parents uh, consider child children is a friend and you mm-hmm. behave to children with the child so you behave you are uh, with friends uh, both are friends and share everything for child the child and uh, children so then children is to share everything your your parents so um, my pa- opinion only children uh, parents thinking the good and my child uh, 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 is good uh, doing good thing so i'm uh, what can i say yes i d- definitely uh, allow yes my children of i have two children so i they mm-hmm. doing good thing and i know what is doing their that thing this is a good thing education and anything they go they want to go uh, any uh, job purpose anywhere so yeah, they they comfortable they like so why i am uh, the, the why i am for the do you don't go and you you know this is not good thing so they want so then they they know very well how to wear it uh, that uh, means they good wear they know very yeah. well now now the children is very smart so they they yeah. know what i do and what what uh, bad uh, and what uh, what is uh, correct they know very yeah. well so no parents allow i want to parents uh, children allow yeah, to so you them. want to give the suggestion to every parent that uh, they should allow even girls child to be educated and if she want to work uh, if she want to work if she want to start their professional if they start their career so they can do yes yes definitely definitely because then children know very well now yes and they know also now that the children very smart so they know very well how to uh, manage situation how to uh, uh, expand how to uh, what can i say that they those career they know very well because now there is a very uh, very uh, internet 
what can i say i have no more words so internet area intelligent uh, nowadays intelligent uh, intelligent uh, uh, what can i say environment i think so it's good so parents is uh, well i want to parents uh, allow to so the children what they uh, want so they allow to but uh, yeah but in india in many places still still parents are not too aware that they should uh, allow girls child to be educated uh, they don't want to send them to in a school or colleges they don't want but yeah government is also doing the great thing they are uh, giving so many schemes like uh, you have heard about this beti bachao beti padhao and so kanya samriddhi yojana something Uh, this kind of things government has also uh, provided this scheme so that girls can be do their education yes yes, yes. definitely definitely yes yeah and uh, one more thing i started our house then you go you know first uh, uh, your house uh, you start you go you uh, allow your with any parents first uh, they know very well how to uh, good thing so first miss i'm uh, my daughter i have my daughter and i have son also my daughter also so i allow to, she want to, she want to doing any job and if you want to go to abroad anything been doing purpose oh, she know very well because she is educated she is very well she is learning she is graduate person she is edu- educated so mm-hmm. she is know very well so then yeah and they, at least you you allow then it, it will be uh, she not un- uncomfortable she uncomfortable so they then she she decide you know but first uh, it, it yeah and yeah one more thing uh, in uh, in many of the houses or can say in many of the families uh, after the marriage they don't allow girls to do the work so what is your opinion on that first of all Uh, parents are they believe you are children first of all believe they can't if believe if your in laws or your husband don't allow you to work outside then what is your opinion on that i'm correct i'm correct so why not i'm correct i'm not wrong being correct thing so why not you allow no you you doing bad thing so i allow okay you go, you go because you husband no nowadays late lady women and husband going to same way everything yeah. is same. yeah because no, her the wife also doing in home chores your mm-hmm. children caretaker so many responsibility she is give and husband only working and outside and then raja maharaja don't no why yeah, yeah. both yeah, are right are so yes but managing understanding also important husband and wife and uh, parents and children uh, understand um, uh, understanding also important miss miss uh, main thing yes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah right so it should be the man's responsibility or can say it's the uh, husband understanding also matters because in many families husband don't allow their wife to go outside for work and they want uh, they want just they just want that uh, wife should be do the household work and uh, take care of their children but they don't uh, then don't want to allow a wife to go there go outside for work you know first of all i know very well actually first of so all what can be the reason uh, what can be the reason they don't want to allow because husband want to don't go uh, means you know no uh, my 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 aunt husband and my wife is uh, she i'm first and she is second so she is no go first she is only from my back she is uh, yeah so she this thing uh, they want to uh, don't go miss mere aage nahi jana chahiye so this yeah, right yeah. that's why and that's yeah right yes yeah, actually actually this yeah, is Really topic, but uh, <laughs> I am beginner, so that's why. But yes, yeah, it's you are facing the problem to explain in English, but you know very well what what are the things and what can you explain. But yeah, 
it's a language barrier sometimes so you can't able to express what are the things in your mind and what do you want to express <laughs> but definitely yeah. in this future time i good english speaker so definitely i this topic i discuss yeah definitely because uh, yeah, it's really a good topic and we should discuss on this because we are women and uh, we we know everything what are the situations and what are the things are going on nowadays so what are the action we have to take we have to become independent and uh, yeah some husband think like that uh, women can't handle both the situation like uh, household they, they can't do the work life balance so that's why sometimes they don't want to allow them but i noticed also i noticed also i seen also some husband is good person they help her wife they help his he help his wife yes they allow to she is doing these things so say they allow and they help yeah i see it my home in my home also in my i'm working here there mm-hmm. and uh, seen so it's a good parent the good uh, husband wife there yeah So, yeah, so yeah it to- should be both of the responsibility that uh, you can share both of the things like you can manage yes. the children uh, it's both of the responsibility husband and wife that uh, you have to take care of the children and yeah husband can help uh, her wife in some of the household work yes, so it yes. will it would yes. be benefit for both of yes because not only wife have responsibility na it your home chores your uh, children care take not only uh, how wife uh, responsibility both are responsibility so both are managed so then it will be good uh, that way i think so some people okay so uh, uh, one more thing one more question actually so uh, nowadays we are empowering the women in many areas like uh, we are giving power so that they can uh, they can speak for themselves and uh, they can take her own decision they can go outside for work they can uh, they can be educated and uh, what happens i have heard this question that the divorce rate is increasing uh, after the women empowerment so what do you think on this like if you are giving too many powers to women so th- uh, so that what only i don't know what 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 did you say okay so we are giving power to women that she can take her own decisions and uh, she can go outside she can uh, she can do whatever she want to do but mm-hmm. after the marriage uh, i heard that uh, divorce rate rate is increasing after the women empowerment so mm-hmm. do you think it's a really a cause of uh, divorce rate increasing actually uh... i told you already both are understanding is the most important thing so divorce uh, actually because she like and she study also so she like and she work and that time she, there is no one allowed so then she is hurt no because she like uh, that uh, job and that purpose she like so that's why she study and then she is uh, doing work that time any person you don't go you don't go that thing she is uh, her feel and so that that's why maybe uh, but uh, it's not uh, but uh, understanding and nothing yes yeah um, some some of the people think like that uh, that that uh, yeah we are educating the women and after the marriage uh, if uh, if she want to work and husband don't allow them to work so sometimes it can be a problem uh and uh, yeah divorce rate is increasing but we can't say that this is the only reason women empowerment is not only the reason of divorcing rate is increasing but yeah some other things can be the causes like definitely, uh, definitely she doing divorce because why not she is the learn she is study she is parents she is her she is the, so why not so, yeah definitely yes yeah. only that reason and your husband not allow so this is not good thing in my opinion yeah there are so many reason actually uh, it's yes, not so only this reason yes uh, it can be some mutual understanding family issues or something and uh, one thing also um, which uh, i forgot in the head ka bolte usko dowry system yeah dowry system also 
this is also not good yes actually my hometown there is no one follow the dowry system yes yes because but in I, my I, place I, oh, in, in uh, my place it happens uh, dowry system is what can i say it in top level <laughs> ha ah, no because uh, you you are miss uh, my daughter i give another person okay so and i uh, i increase her i study her okay i discuss everything i am doing and uh, and she is uh, means and uh, this is uh, uh, her means every parent is uh, every child is uh, very like love and then she uh, what can give another person so that person also is responsibility has managed carry that girl so then there is a dowry means uh, actually that person give uh, girl parents dowry yeah this is a good thing actually not girls give uh, uh, her husband dowry what is this no this is a bad thing yes, yeah i i am thinking the same actually in my thinking is that if i am earning and uh, so why we need to do, to give the dowry to the husband and also yeah. see he is also earning so what is the meaning of giving too much uh, dowry to them so i i'm totally against of this yes but, yeah but in my place it happens a lot no this is a wrong thing actually yes sir. then uh, then after that uh, this uh, girl has a uh, so many uh, response so many uh, situation create create situation then uh, she has a fighting so it is not good then dowry system yeah government yes, is not about this uh, system yes if uh, what happens if uh, if husband is in good position or in good uh, in good profession then you have to give the extra extra dowry to them Uh, this is the situation here if uh, if if a boy in a government sector then you will have to give a lot of money lot of things to them so this is not this should not be happen actually yes yes, yes, yes. yes. If, you know if parents are giving if parents are giving some of the things like household things to them by their own interest so it is okay but you are demanding for them that you you need 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs something so it is totally wrong yes 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 nice topic are you are you serious actually yes i like uh, this topic <laughs> yes and and you tell anything you are girl and you are girl and i am the mother i know very well but i am unable to explain english <laughs> because i am yeah tired. right actually i chose this topic uh, for you with you because uh, i was aware that uh, you can you can say a lot of things because you are a mother so you can explain so many things because you have faced a lot like uh, if you were a girl then you married then you have a child children so you can speak more on that you know whenever i child that uh, that time also i am five siblings okay but mm-hmm. that, that time also don't allow uh, wearing girls uh, means boy clothes clothes means you know t-shirt and jeans that time don't cut hair and but i am a middle one and my father allow to me is doing everything so then i am very uh, means uh, naughty person yes yes and anyone told me to ask me so then why why, why not that boy is doing that thing is so uh, good and i'm girl so that's why i'm not doing no mai karke dikhaungi this thing no i don't yeah you have voice breaking anisha voice breaking now is correct Hello. now is correct now is correct can you yes sir yes yes i think my ear problem so yes uh, i like actually so any person told you you do not you doing this thing so why mm-hmm. not why not uh, boy they, they are, there is a allow and girl she has no not allowed why not i am doing why not <laughs> yes yeah right right yes. yeah you know in my family i am the only girl who is working outside outside my hometown so i am mm-hmm. the only girl 
So it okay. is sometimes it's proud feeling for me. <laughs> yes. You are at home. You are only girl alone. No, I am the only girl who uh, they have allowed me to work okay, outside okay. my hometown. Okay. Okay. And, and uh, other little girls, they do, they don't allow uh, outside. Yeah. In yeah in in my family, girls girls are not allowed. to go outside for work and uh, yeah in village areas where my my parent my parents hometown so they are they 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 marriage their what can i say? they marriage their daughter in very early age oh my god but yeah but uh, i am in my in city like in bhopal so here uh, my parents thinking has changed so they don't think like that Uh, we should uh, do the child marriage something like that so now i am 25 and they don't bother about the marriage part so but why now this internet area so do you even know how means what is good and what is wrong so why are they doing this thing this is a bad yeah no. yeah actually it is bad but i i, I cannot yeah. alone can uh, prevent this thing yeah But then, uh, then uh, another person means the uh, people in home uh, means uh, hometown. There is uh, uh, people they pressure. They do not pressure your parents. Means you know they yeah they they, they actually gossip. told they actually mm -hmm. tell my parents that uh, you should you should think think about the marriage. Not in now, but uh, when I was in. Uh, mm -hmm. Actually, I have my elder sister also. So when she was in. Uh, very early age actually when we went okay. to the village so everybody was pushing her to do the marriage yes. you know But, yeah. actually it is good you going to allow, you, you you miss your parents you allow going to work and outside so it's good because they uh, another children uh, another parents they also listen they also seen you then they also get motivated after a uh, few yeah they also yeah, get motivated that thing i that thing i actually want that good, people good, should actually. learn from me that uh, you can yes, you good. can work outside and yes. it it doesn't matter that uh, you have to do the marriage in 17 or 18 uh, yes, when yes. you are in that age so you can you can do the marriage when when you are prepared for that and you are comfortable so it's yes, your yes. it should be your choice definitely definitely gradually you are hometown there is uh, another girls also definitely uh, they work and they study and they go outside to work yeah they definitely because you uh, get motivate them so definitely yes yeah. i hope actually yes i hope yes. so <laughs> yes, yes definitely because you know i have uh, one uh, means uh, one girl she is friends she is my friends but uh, Um, she is uh, not friends means she is uh, look like you but yeah. she is uh, uh, study in hometown amat nagar aurangabad i don't know exactly there and mm -hmm. there also she has she a uh, hometown there is no allow to go outside and anywhere any courses so she is um, father working in here so everyone told them you are miss she is uh, percentage is good 10 uh, 98 uh, percentage at uh, 12 standard so mm -hmm. uh, yeah so that time yeah so everyone told him his father why not she is percent is good i so why not she came here in mumbai she course she doing courses and everything anyway mm -hmm. means uh, like so obviously but so then she came here and uh, their their hometown their everyone told oh she is going to there nowadays uh, she is uh, marriage time and so why are you you go she go there and everyone uh, pressure the uh, everyone uh, torture uh, the, the this uh, she's parents but she yeah. came here and she is studying in nurse and nowadays also she is good uh, nurse actually a uh, nurse means so uh, what uh, big staff nurse and now mm -hmm. she Uh, three years completed, and now uh, another course, another course she uh, she is doing. But mm -hmm. nowadays, another ladies also in in hometown. Those ladies also came here. The, those parents told her, her why are you go there, and the, they told uh, those parents do, told her uh, his uh, she's parents why are you go there now? It is marriage time. So those are now 
what can I say, studying uh, the, that 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 girl means uh, yeah that people's girl means uh, every girls yeah nowadays studying and some uh, girls also came in Mumbai because first girls uh -huh. came for five six year, years ago five six yeah five uh -huh. years ago six years yeah. ago she came here so nowadays uh, so many girls came here and study and doing everything. So yeah, yeah, so so you are so good uh, doing this good uh, doing decision uh, because mm -hmm. they are so motivated. I appreciate yeah. you. Thank you so much. Yes, yes. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes. Okay. Okay, then fine for today. I have to work okay. as well. Okay, okay. Nice to talk yeah. to you. Yeah, uh, same here. Nice to talk yes. to you. Bye bye. Bye, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you.